Easy car care ceramic wax. Cheap muck or hidden gem. There's only one way to find out. So as you'll see in the title, this is an 8 week update and if you haven't seen the application video, I'll leave a link above and I'd strongly recommend you watch it first. Not wanting to go easy on this product, as I wouldn't with any other, I decided to give it a tough to test as I possibly could, so I've left the car for 8 weeks without washing it. And during those 8 weeks, the car was actually off the road for 3 of them with a mechanical issue, which does bear some relevance to this video and I'll talk about that a bit more later on. You can see what I mean about tough test, bird excrement absolutely dried into the bonnet in 3 or 4 different places. And really anything else that made contact with the car was just allowed to dry into it. Granted it's a summer time, there's not a lot of traffic film as such, but it does still rain and there is still dirt in the road and any of that dirt hitting the car was just allowed to dry on there. So for me, the first test of any protection is it living up to its name and actually protecting the paintwork from contamination. So out with the trusty Karcher K4 and see how much of this we can remove. As you can see then, despite the fact that it looked completely dried in and there was a risk of it actually having etched the paintwork, the bird excrement came off with absolutely no effort whatsoever. So it would appear at this stage that the wax has passed the first hurdle and actually protected the paintwork like it's supposed to do. However, you will notice the water behaviour on this bonnet is completely flat. And whilst I know now exactly what has happened here, at the time when I was filming this, I was absolutely baffled. I thought, how on earth has this died so quickly, to the point of being completely dead. When you look here, spraying it again, there is absolutely no shading, no beating whatsoever on the flat part of the bonnet. Yet, when you go to the side of the car, the vertical panels, the water is beating off as if it's been freshly applied. Well, sort of. Maybe not freshly applied, but certainly doesn't look too bad. But on with the test, I thought to myself, well, I haven't actually pre-washed the car yet, it could be clogged up. So I followed the same pre-wash routine that I followed during the application process, as in the Easy Car Care Citrus Wax, Citrus Wash, not Citrus Wax, and the Sub-Zero Snow Foam, both used at exactly the same dilutions as the original video. Left both products to dwell on the car together for the same roughly 5 minutes as in the original video and then of course just thoroughly rinsed them off again. Lo and behold instantly see a massive improvement in the water behaviour on the bonnet. However, upon closer inspection and more so certainly on this left hand side of the bonnet, there is still that one section which for want of a better way to describe it, it's still completely flat. That is definitely not what you would call impressive. So at this stage, once again, I'm thinking to myself, what on earth has happened with this wax at that part of the bonnet? When you look at the side door, side door, all the doors are on the side. When you look at the door and the wing, the water's just fallen off. Again, this hasn't been washed yet, this is only after a pre-wash. But for some reason, the vertical panels are performing really well. Even behind the front wheel, which is usually one of the worst sections for me for where protection breaks down. Front wing, wing mirrors, everywhere else is performing great. It's just that section of the bonnet. So at this stage I thought to myself, right, maybe it's still a little clogged up. We'll do a contact wash and see if that brings it back any better. And once again, using the same easy car care products as in the application process. This is the Amber Shampoo diluted exactly the same way. That way, keeping this consistent with it being part of the Weekend Warrior Kit. For the record, the entire car was washed. I just didn't want to lengthen the video by five minutes showing the whole process. I'm sure you've all seen me wash the car by now. So rinse it off again and see if the contact wash has made any difference. So upon closer inspection, has the contact wash made any difference? No, it absolutely has not. In fact, if anything, the contact wash has either degraded the wax even further, or else is masking what little effect it, it does have on the bonnet. I think at this stage, it's time to explain exactly what has happened, and to be fair to the product, it's not the wax's fault. So, approximately 4 weeks into the test, on my usual 40 mile commute home from work, 
About three to four miles from home, I looked at the temperature needle and saw it was reading roughly 100 degrees, which is about 15 degrees above normal for this car. So I turned the heaters on inside the car to try and relieve some pressure and pulled over at the first available opportunity. By this stage, the temperature needle was reading off the clock, which is 120 degrees. Now at the time, the wax on the bonnet was the least of my concerns, so my only priority was to get the parts and get the car fixed. So after three weeks waiting for parts and a new thermostat, water pump and auxiliary belt, the car was back on the road. And a week later, I filmed this. It was only after discussing the results with a friend that they suggested it sounds like the wax has actually been burnt off the bonnet that the penny dropped. And the heat from the expansion tank, which is right underneath the most affected area, it would appear to be exactly what's done it, as you can see here. So long story short, on the rest of the car, the wax is performing absolutely superbly in my opinion. I have no complaints about it. And as for the bonnet, well clearly it's going to need something else. So if you haven't already done so, do subscribe to the channel and over the next couple of weeks you'll see me applying another product just purely to the bonnet. As there's no point reapplying the same thing, I might as well test something else. And that is really all I have to say about that. Easy car care ceramic wax, very good. Dodgy water pump and thermostat, not very good. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully you'll see you in the next one. Take care.